Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the end of day markets for Friday, the 24th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of numbers, uh, certainly a, a bearish session today on Europe. Uh, the FTSE itself finishing down 30 points, the DAX finishing down 140 odd, the CAC down 40 odd, the FTSE MIB getting a hiding, a battering, a down 220 IBEX and stocks certainly down as well. Okay, so in terms of European markets, certainly turning down on the back of uh, Mr. Hamon uh, and also this is just uh, pending now, uh, further breaking news in terms of uh, the French prosecutor asks magistrate to open probe and file on fake jobs allegations. So uh, Mr. Hamon are uh, certainly receiving some uh, type of allegiance and uh, and support uh, negating the um, uh, early news of Mr. Macron, uh, Macron's allegiance as well. Uh, certainly uh, strengthening his base and uh, certainly uh, increasing the chances of Le Pen failing in the second round. And also Mr. Hamon's potential allegiance now negating Mr. Macron's allegiance and thereby obviously reducing the chances of any uh, one single candidate potentially beating Le Pen in the second round. So again, that certainly is a concern. Mr. Macron's tax cuts uh, talk certainly failed to uh, make any inroads today, although it certainly held the market high yesterday. European markets certainly flushing on that news. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the consensus. Now, in terms of a, uh, Asian markets and European markets, certainly flush in the back of Mr. Trump's uh, comments with regards to China being a currency manipulator and also Mr. Mnuchin's comment or lack of comments on any further fiscal policy reform. So no details on fiscal policy, obviously causing or creating a swoon and, and triggering a risk aversion trade. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the reason why the market certainly went into a swoon today. Also, obviously, like I said, Mr. Hamon's allegiance as well, concerns over France, etc., etc. In terms of the market and economic data, we've had stronger, uh, or should we say weaker home sales uh, data from the US. Uh, although having said that, we had stronger Michigan consumer sentiment, certainly helping the, uh, the US from that perspective. But overall, it's been a risk negative. You had RBS earnings certainly on the weaker side as well. Uh, standard chart earnings certainly on the weaker side as well. And uh, the market's finally paying some uh, respect to uh, political uncertainty in Europe. So where exactly do we stand from a political, or should we say, uh, socio-economic and uh, geopolitical uh, perspective it certainly seems to be risk off and let's look at the actual uh, European markets now and let's break them down now let me just bring up the European markets for you and let's look at the actual technical picture here let's see exactly where we stand okay so Mr Mnuchin and Mr Trump's comments certainly exerting downward pressure on the Europe on your US markets really if you look at the S&P 500 uh, before I start in terms of uh, European because the S&P 500 dictates if we go to the 60 minute chart you can see the market certainly uh, creating this bear flag or lower high okay and looking for gap fill below at 2351 if you look at the 10 minute chart you're certainly looking at resistance here okay so 2357 certainly holding looking at a mini H&S and ultimately we are looking to potentially close the gap at 2351 with resistance holding around 2360 and 2361 on the S&P 500 so certainly looking for further downside price action okay so given the fact that the S&P certainly is a weak you are looking at European equities certainly looking to be weak as well uh, the daily chart of the German DAX certainly was clobbered today but we actually close a gap and then bounce quite sharply at 11.725. So we bounce towards a close, almost a 100 point bounce towards a close. 60 minute chart, you can see that 200 on May holding and bull, a bullish engulfing chart certainly taking over. So do, are we now carving out this potential HNS formation? I don't know. Okay. The jury is out. So we're we going to create this uh, right shoulder. You can certainly tell that the top is in with this bearish engulfing candle. And really from a 60 minute chart perspective, it's all about this right shoulder, whether this right shoulder can hold. Now you do have gap fill above. Bear that in mind at 11,950. OK, so again, it's all about this lower high on the European equities. Bear in mind, we have gap fill below at 11,670. 11640 and then obviously you're looking at 11540 so multiple gaps below so watch out for those gaps 10 minute chart you actually exceeded pivot s3 we actually closed the gap at uh, 11750 we actually almost tested support 11700 and then we bounced sharply so bear that in mind now we do have multiple gaps to close you've got a gap here at 11900 and then you have a gap above at 11950 so watch out for those two gaps above Okay, that's really the main focus. So 11,950 and 11,900 gaps in terms of the German DAX. Okay, looking at the tech all share daily chart, certainly uh, bearish, uh, but is that uh, sufficient enough to cause a decline? Good question. Okay, 
In terms of the DAX or MDAX 50 as well, let's look at the MDAX 50, looking at the daily chart, certainly a bearish engulfing candle quite prolifically. Uh, again, if we take out the previous high, uh, then we certainly need to be concerned. But we do have multiple gaps below, so bear that in mind. You've got a gap here as well that certainly needs to close. Okay, So certainly showing some bearish price action here on the back of political uncertainty emanating from France. In terms of France, let's look at the daily chart of the French CAC. Let's bring up the daily. Certainly a powerful flush. Certainly close that gap below. Double top, certainly holding. You're looking for a lower high now. That really is your aim. 60-minute chart, previous support equals resistance. So certainly topping out here, looking to target that gap below at 4760. So watch out for that gap. Okay, certainly holding. Uh, again, it's going to be, we've put in a potential lower high, looking for a lower low, put in a lower low, looking for a lower high now in terms of the market. Okay, so yes, looking for a lower high on the French CAC now. So watch out for that lower high. Okay, looking at FIB. Um, 38%, 50, 61, 75, certainly looking for that lower high. 10 minute chart on the French CAC, certainly bounced off uh, the uh, oversold territory. Uh, impressive bounce at that. Okay, you are looking at cap uh, resistance at 4860 here. You got 200 MA at 4880. Okay, so again, looking for further weakness on the, uh, on the French CAC. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100 daily chart, certainly did uh, stop me out on the long side and stop me out on the short side. Certainly frustrated with the FTSE 100 trading today. Certainly um, whipsawed in my trading uh, today. Uh, certainly has put in a bottoming tail though, so watch out for that 7190 support. Having said that, you are now looking for a lower high. Uh, the pivot high there being 7255, 7254. So looking for that pivot uh, high to a hold. You are 61% at 7265. So looking again for that resistance to certainly hold. So watch out for that in terms of the actual market itself, okay? Certainly looking for resistance in that region to hold, okay? We've certainly bounced off this uh, level here, which is a pivot lower 7192. My stop loss is 7191. Really frustrated at that, okay? But that's the market. That's how market trades, and you just have to react accordingly. Now we're into a new zone. Okay, 10 minute chart, certainly thrusted. I mean, some impressive buying power towards that uh, close, okay? Impressively. Have to uh, take your hat off to that uh, potential uh, rally there. Okay, certainly uh, hit that level. This that was the initial level that I was targeting on my long trade, but fortunately that's the way uh, trading works. Unfortunately, you can get whipsawed, so that's exactly what occurred. Certainly a negative week for me this week. Uh, again, last week was negative as well, so certainly very hard to read this market at present, but we keep going. Okay, in terms of the uh, the euro stocks as well, let's quickly look at the euro stocks here. Ten minute chart. I started with the daily. Daily certainly clearly has put in a double top now, so you are looking at uh, shorting any potential pop. Uh, certainly has bounced off the previous uh, resistance equal support zone. Okay, you are into previous support equal resistance here. If we continue to move higher, then the next resistance is 3325. So just bear that in mind in terms of the next move here. Okay, folks? Certainly bear that in mind. Okay, so again, unfilled gap below at 3270. Let's watch out for that gap. If we could, and then there is another gap at 3230, so 3240, should I say. So multiple gaps below that we certainly need to watch out for and looking to uh, potentially close, okay? That's the European equities for you. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and visit TradeSignal and download his latest app. Goodbye now.